Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step checklist of Airbus 320neo from JAR Design. So I'm going to start with uh, an uh, exterior inspection of the aircraft. And while I'm doing this, let me uh, tell you what to expect. Uh, so we're going to start with cockpit preparation. Gonna go with four start, pushback, engine start, after engine start, flight control, before taxi, before takeoff, takeoff, after takeoff, initial climb, cruise checklist. Then we're gonna uh, do a descent checklist, approach, before landing, go around checklist, approach and before landing from holding point, after landing, at the parking checklist, and securing the aircraft. All this in this video and it's gonna be a long video so let's get to it all right so I am going to call get ring stairway connect the GPU now open all the doors and cargo doors and then from here I'm going inside the cockpit and I can start the cockpit preparation checklist really quick before I do that. Under this video there's a link where you can uh, download the exactly PDF uh, uh, file of the uh, Airbus 320 NEO checklist that I'm doing uh, right now. And also under that, there is a, a time uh, listed for each checklist. If you want to skip and go to, let's say, a go around checklist, uh, you can just check the time and then you will go to one hour, 20 minutes, whatever the time is. Uh, so you don't have to uh, search and scroll to, to see where that checklist is. Let's start with cockpit preparation. Engine master one and two off. Ignition selector normal. Landing gear level up and down position. And I go to the upper panel battery one and two on. Exterior power on. Now we're gonna check the APU fire button down and guarded. And then we'll do an APU fire test. Next, we'll do APU master on and then APU start on. Alright, then we'll wait for the available message on the bottom ECAM. Alright, the available message came up. I'm gonna go to the upper panel, disconnect the exterior power and we can dismiss the GPU truck. Next we're gonna set the cabin light. There are two up there. Uh, usually they're on. Uh, let's set the upper panel lights on. Now we're gonna go to the front panel. There's some lights there. Those are for the instruments brightness door panel light on those are the brightness for the ECAM uh, and then the co-pilot lights again you can check those and then the overhead lights uh, everything is set now we're gonna check to make sure the parking brake is in on position we're gonna go back to the upper panel and turn on the hydraulic yellow pump next we'll set the parking Park brake, brake off. off and check the brake uh, pressure okay, parking brake on park brake on we'll go back to the upper panel and turn off the hydraulic yellow pump.
Next, let's check flaps up, ground spoiler retract and disarm. And I go back to the upper panel, probe window hit auto, APU bleed on, cross bleed auto, air pack 1 and 2 on. I'm gonna set the temperature selectors. Ventilation panel check, electrical panel check, gen 1 and 2 lights on, to the left adheres data selector status, adhere system selector 1, adhere selector nav, and I wait for the battery lights to turn off, and then we're gonna repeat for adheres 2 and 3. Adhere's position, enter, emergency uh, light arm, landing elevation auto, check engine 1 and 2 fire button arm and guarded, and then we'll do a test for both engines. Right, all good. Uh, set the strobe lights to auto one click then we'll go to the radio panel and turn on radio panel select VHF1 then radio frequency set once the frequency is set press the middle button to move to the active so this is optional but uh, I'm gonna Go ahead and close the cockpit door and then lock the door. Now we are going to uh, get our ATC clearance, but before I do that, I'm going to use X Life for this flight. I'm going to enter the destination. I'm going to fly uh, level at 200. I'm going to fly with Lufthansa 123. I'm going to click on generate. I'm going to export that to the FMC. You can see all flight plan is in there. And then also I'm going to send this to ATC. Now, first we need uh, some information here. So we're going to go to the ATIS. I'm going to use the information from X-Life in this flight. So here's the runway, uh, transition level, we have the visibility, uh, temperature and um, the altimeter. I'm going to go ahead and set the altimeter first uh, before we get uh, clearance from the ATC. Right, 1023 altimeter set. So now let's get the ATC clearance by going to uh, delivery. Obviously, you will have to use the radio, but uh, X Life will do it automatically DHL for me. DHL 123, Innsbruck delivery, cleared to Frankfurt, runway 08. Via Kilo Papa Tango 2 Juliet departure, initial altitude 12,000 feet, squawk 2235. Okay, read back. Correct. Contact ground on 123.450 when ready for push and start. So now we can uh, go ahead and uh, set the FMGS. So I'll go to the initial page first. I'll align the IRS. Uh, I'll flight number HL123, cost index 65, flight level 200. And I go to next page, click on those two buttons. So obviously, we need some fuel here. So I'm going to bring the fuel truck and the loading ship. This is where you set up uh, the luggage weight and uh, passengers in the aircraft. 
uh, economy class, first class, and those are the cargo. So make sure all uh, see it's on red. Uh, so make sure everything it's on green uh, by uh, playing around with uh, those settings. Right. Now go ahead and load the aircraft to. Yeah, that's good. Make sure those uh, those uh, fields are still in green, and uh, click on that again. One hour and twenty-seven minutes. That's good. I'm gonna disconnect the fuel truck, but I'm gonna leave this for a second. So let's set the departure, which is runway zero eight. That's our seat, so let's set 08, find the seat there is, no transitions, temporary flight, I'm gonna look for discontinuity, uh, clear that, insert, uh, let's check, make sure everything is good, yep, and then we're gonna do the performance page, where we set B1, BR and B2, transition level it is 10,000. Now here's the thing. It says 2 slash up 0, 0.0. So uh, this is where the information uh, Airbus gets it. So that in our case it's 2 slash forward uh, down DN 1.2. Now you don't have to do this. I'll ju I just show you how to enter manually. You can just click on that button and uh, the FMC will enter that information automatically. Flex, let's do Flex 43. Uh, right, so the FMGS is set. Uh, let's go to FCO. So I'm gonna leave the speed and uh, heading mode to automatically. You see those uh, dot, the dashes. So let's set uh, the uh, initial altitude, which was 12,000. Now you can uh, set the FCU as uh, as you wish. Uh, so the rest of them is going to stay automatically, just the initial altitude, which in this case is 12,000. Moving forward, flight director on, ILS off. NAF mode set, we did set the adheres to NAV mode. Alright, I'll go back and uh, check the clock. Anti skid on. And then we're gonna go and set the transponder. Let's set that to auto and then that to standby. And now we uh, enter the transponder 2235 number. Weather radar, it's off. Now check the engine master one to off, initial normal, trust level, make sure they're idle. And then I'm gonna go up and make sure the adheres are aligned if they're not uh, you will have to wait until it says align right adheres aligned so cockpit preparation checklist completed now we're gonna go to before start checklist we are going to close all the doors now you can check the status of the doors on the bottom ECAM. Make sure everything is green. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and dis uh, dismiss the stairways. And for some reason, they're gone. Okay. Moving forward. Uh, set the seat belts to on, no smoking sign on, beacon lights 
on then we can go ahead and run on board auto checklist if you wish before start checklist cockpit preparation completed gear pins and covers removed signs on adeers nav mode fuel quantity in kilo zero five nine nine one takeoff data set Vero reference set windows doors closed beacon on throttle levers idle parking brake on checklist completed okay before start checklist complete moving forward we're gonna do a pushback by calling the tow truck in the meantime, we're going to obtain a clearance from ground. DHL 123, push and start approved. Okay, after pushback truck is connected, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the anti skid. Then, master caution button clear. and we can release the parking brakes now if i click on that it's not gonna do anything because it does it automatically when i press the go button for the tow truck to push us back let's go ahead and do the pushback park break off yeah, as you can see it is as soon as i click on that the parking brake releases Yeah, that should do Park it. Break on. Right after pushback, anti skid on. And go ahead and dismiss the tow truck. And we can go ahead and clear the message by clicking on the clear button. Right, push back complete. I'm gonna go ahead and do the engine start. Turn on all six fuel pumps. Right, ignition selector start. Starting and we we'll start two. with engine two. And once again, we can check the status on the ECAM, on the upper end, the bottom ECAM, and wait until the engine stabilizes. Engine to stabilize. I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine one and wait. Starting engine one. For engine one to stabilize also. Engine 1 stabilize. And go ahead and do after engine start checklist by initial selector normal. Now go to upper panel APU bleed off. Make sure air packs 1 and 2 are on. Let's go back to the uh, floor panel and set the ground spoiler to arm spoiler position. Arm. I'm going to set the rudder trim to zero. Let's say if you have it on minus one, there is a reset button. You can click on that. Flaps one. Set flaps the flaps two. to 
two position and I'm gonna check the pitch trim next we are going to set the auto brake to maximum and then you can go ahead and run onboard auto checklist if you wish after start checklist anti-ice as required ecam status checked pitch trim one decimal two down rudder trim zero apu set on ground crew clear anti-skid and nose wheel steering on checklist completed all right let's do onboard flight control checklist flight control check full up check full down check neutral check full left check full right check neutral check press pedals disconnect push button check pedal full left check pedal full right check neutral check press pedals disconnect push button check checklist completed right. and let's go to before taxi checklist I'm gonna do anti ice is required so let's check the temperature so definitely we need to uh, turn on the engines and the wing uh, anti ice next we are going to get a, a clearance dhl one two three taxi innsbruck ground taxi to holding short runway zero eight via alpha pron alpha zero eight slash two six right now we're going to make sure the altimeter uh, it's set it is all right next nose light taxi mode apu master off and then next will be parking brake release Park and brake we off. can go ahead and taxi HL123, contact Innsbruck Tower, 123.625. DHL123, Innsbruck Tower, hold short runway 08. Okay, let's do before takeoff checklist. At holding point, weather radar on, and then run on board auto. Before takeoff checklist. checklist, flight controls checked. Flight instruments checked. Briefing confirmed. Flap settings config. Flaps 2, V1, 1, 3, 4, V rotate, 1, 3, 9, V2, 1, 5, 3, flex temperature, 4, 3, ATC set. ECAM memo, no blue. Checklist down to the line completed. If you're ready to continue below the line, click it again. So we have uh, a little bit of 
traffic here. You no know, wait uh, for. Uh, I believe it was Wiz Air to take off. And I think there is uh, another aircraft about to land. Yep, but there is on the left side. So I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit. And there it is, it's about to land, and there we go. DHL 123, Innsbruck Tower, line up and wait runway 08. Alright, we obtained a clearance, and I'm going to line up. Now, quick uh, tip here, if you play online and you do uh, the checklist, make sure you notify the ATC that you are running the checklist. The ATC will give you more time uh, to have on the runway, especially if it's uh, traffic, uh, or you can uh, run uh, the next uh, steps that I will do in a little bit at the holding point. HL123, runway 08 cleared for takeoff, wind 356 degrees 0 knots. Okay, I'm gonna read back, let me put Park the brake power on. brakes on. I'm gonna check the brake temperature by clicking on uh, wheels. Check the bottom uh, ECAM. I'm gonna set the transponder to on, which is Tara. Then we're going to set the air, pa air compact 1 and 2 off. Landing lights on. Nose lights to take off. And then you can uh, set the runway lights on. And then run on board Cabin crew auto advised. checklist. Engine mode selector. Set normal as where required. Packs set off. Course of APU bleed. Checklist below the line completed. Let the brake park brake off. Release. We're gonna give power just a little bit over 50% and then we'll set the thrust levers to flex. Power set. Positive climb, gear up. gear up, run spoilers, disarm, spoilers, disarm. So if you wish, you can turn on the automatic gear. pilot one, but I recommend to fly manually. Trust levels, climb. Just go ahead and raise the flaps based on the speed. Speed check. Flaps zero.
Next, we are going to turn off the nose lights and runway lights and air packs one and two on. Now you can go ahead and run After take on both checklist, checklists. Landing gear up, flaps retracted, packs on. Checklist down to the line completed. If you're ready to continue below the line, click it again. So still flying manually after passing 10,000 feet. Uh, let's do initial climb checklist. I'm gonna check the anti eyes. Uh, of course, we're gonna leave them on. Temperatures are below Standard zero. Passing flight level one. Standard zero, barrel three. set. Make sure you line the aircraft before we turn on the automatic pilot. Alright, that's good. Let's turn on the automatic Auto pilot. pilot one, one. Landing lights off. DHL-123, climb to flight level 200. Okay, let's set the altitude to 200. And then we can go ahead and run onboard checklist. Barrow reference, standard Barrow set. Checklist below the line completed. You will run this checklist after the Barrel reference is set to standard. DHL-123, contact Bean Center 158.10. DHL-123, Bean Center, radar contact, climb to flight level 200. Alright, we reached our flight altitude and we can do a cruise checklist. This is optional. You can uh, turn off the passenger sign and then we can check the cabin temperature on the bottom ECAM.
HL123, contact Zurich Center 114.40. DHL123, Zurich Center, radar contact, maintain flight level 200. DHL-123, contact Karlsruhe Center 136.00. DHL-123, Karlsruhe Center, radar contact, maintain flight level 200. Right, so we are getting close to top of descent. Uh, we can start the descent checklist by turning on the uh, passenger sign. Okay, so let's call top of descent. DHL-123, descent at pilot's discretion to flight level 70, expect Kilo Echo Romeo 07 you know, Sierra. I'm going to go Flight ahead and request right 25 right left instead of 25 right. DHL the approach will, it, it makes more sense on 25 left expect than 25 right, so Alpha uh, uh, that's the reason. Alright, so read back. Let's go and set the FMGS. 
by clicking on EDDF. I'm gonna go ahead and select the runway. I always select the first one, in this case it's 25 left Z, Empire 2 West approach DF616. We are coming from the F616 insert flight plan. Okay, so let's go ahead and set the altitude to seven zero. Okay, so let's uh, check the temperature for our destination so anti ice is required so we are going to leave them on so wing and engine one and two anti ice on we are going to set the fmg s approach phase oh, let me bring the at this uh, information, I'm going to set the altimeter, temperature, and we're going to set the wind two two zero slash forward seven. Transition level it is set to five thousand, and then we we'll check the go round. Uh, Phase and that is looking good, and we are done. Now, the next step will be when we pass 10,000 feet, we're gonna turn on the landing lights. I recommend uh, you to always check the uh, F uh, FMGS uh, flight plan. See, there is a gap over there, 173 to 111. Uh, I don't like that because uh, there is not enough distance uh, for us to descend uh, that much. So the aircraft will start descending rapidly and it will catch speed. And uh, to avoid that, uh, the ATC gave me. Uh, instruction uh, to start descending on pilot discretion so I can do that before the top of the set right so I am going to uh, push the altitude knob and then as you can see we are descending so make sure you keep an eye on your speed and if you do catch speed just use the spoilers DHL-123, contact Frankfurt approach 136.120. DHL-123, identified, expect Echo Mike Papa Alpha 2 Whiskey arrival, ILS approach runway 25 left, descend to flight level 60. There you go. Now we start uh, descending uh, a little bit faster. Uh, it's still okay. I don't have to use the spoilers yet. And uh, we'll see what happens. So 
so let's set the altitude to 6000 Just uh, take a look of that red out how fast it's coming down. And I mean, we are descending, and it, uh, the red out it's catching us. Uh, and that's that. That was the reason I uh, start descending earlier than the top of the set. Alright, so here we're gonna uh, have to use the spoilers because we have to slow down to uh, spoilers 50. Down. Spoilers full. So I'm gonna do spoilers full and I'm gonna start slowing down to 250. So keep in mind we are still on the scent checklist. We haven't passed uh, uh, 10,000 feet to uh, turn on the landing lights. We will in uh, just a little bit and then we'll go to uh, approach checklist. Alright, so we're 10,000 feet landing lights on and then the send checklist is complete. Okay, we can now... Uh, spoilers half. Retract. Spoilers retracted. The spoilers. We do have a speed of 250 and we just passed 10,000. So here you can see uh, clearly our approach. Uh, make a right there, uh, DF616, make a left, and then we're gonna start uh, doing the approach. Now the first time I'm gonna do a, a missed approach, so we're gonna fly to uh, FA5000, and then we're gonna make a left turn to come to CHA and that's when we're gonna hold and then do a second attempt from uh, the holding point.
DHL 123, descend to 4,000 feet, Quebec November Hotel 1021, transition level flight level 50. Okay, so let's set the altitude to 4,000. DHL-123, cleared for ILS approach runway 25 left, report established. Okay, we'll read back. Uh, we passed 5000, let's set the uh, altimeter to 1021. Traffic, traffic, Ooh, traffic, traffic, traffic coming from the left. Traffic, if you traffic. Click on the airplane icon. Traffic, you can traffic. See traffic, traffic. Where the airplane is. Traffic, 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 traffic. So we're gonna ignore that. Traffic, traffic. Approach phase activated. And traffic, let's traffic. do the approach checklist. Clear of conflict. Right, uh, FMGS approach phase activate. ILS button on. Auto brakes are set that to low, and then I'm gonna go ahead and run onboard checklist approach checklist briefings confirm ecam status check seat belts on Barrow set three zero one five decision height two zero zero engine mode selector set normal as where required auto brake set checklist completed spoilers half spoilers retracted speed checked flaps one okay so we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on approach button and wait for localize and glyscope to capture us. Speed check, flaps two. I just set the flaps to two. Uh, let me call it in. Then localize and glyscope Continue did approach. capture us. Uh, read back. Let's set the automatic pilot to Auto pilot on. two. Cross check. Go around altitude 5000. Go around altitude set. And just wait uh, to get clearance to land. In the meantime, let's lower uh, the gear. Gear down. DHL-123, contact tower 123.625. Let, let's contact tower. DHL-123, flaps three. Left. Line yeah, approach checklist knots. completed. Let's read back and let's do before landing checklist. Spoilers armed. Auto brake it's set to radio low. altimeter alive. Let's set the brake fan to on. So we can always uh, double check our altitude, even if it's uh, set to automatic pilot. Let's say we got two red lights and two white. 
that means we are good. I'm gonna go ahead and set Speed the check. flaps to flaps. full and run onboard checklist. Landing checklist. Cabin crew advised. Auto throttle mode. Speed. Ecam memo. No blue. Go around altitude. Set. Checklist completed. All right. Landing checklist completed. Now at this point, if you wish to land with automatic pilot, leave. AP1 and AP2 on. I always land manually so I turn them off. 400. Land green checked. Three hundred. Hundred above. So here I'm uh, pretending that I'm not landing correctly and it's not safe to land and we're gonna perform a miss Minimum. approach. Alright, so let's go to go around checklist. Go around. Full flaps. travel. Make sure we set the flaps, flaps three. to three. And then raise the nose up. Positive climb. Around 15 degrees. Gear up. Positive climb. Gear up. I'm going to uh, notify the ATC for this approach. Uh, disarm the spoilers now here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on uh, altitude knob and then DHL heading line to 4,000 feet contact Frankfurt approach on 136.120 gonna uh, go ahead and read back contact approach now in the meantime, ILS approach, runway we are left. going to uh, set clearance. the trust DHL levers one, two, to three. climb. climb and maintain 4, feet. Execute so we can uh, go ahead and lower the nose and then we'll uh, uh, retract the flaps based on speed. speed check. Flaps two. So let's do our flaps two. Into flaps one. Speed check. Flaps one. Speed check. Flaps Into zero. Flaps zero. Now we can turn on the automatic autopilot. One. Cross check. One. I'm gonna disconnect the ILS. Disconnect the fan and auto brakes. And let's go and uh, set the FMGS. So first we're going to go to initial page and set the altitude 4000. Now for some reason it changes to 3. Then we're going to click on airport and we're going to go to CHA, hold, computed. This FMC will uh, enter uh, the information uh, automatically. So we can clear the uh, flight discontinuity and there we go.
now as you can see now we are making a left turn and go to uh, CHA now uh, the altitude that I said is 5000 but the uh, ATC told me to go for 4000 um, now obviously you know I have to uh, follow the A ATC instruction even if uh, the charge uh, tells me uh, 5000 but let me go back to FMGS and show you uh, a little bit slower uh, the setup for the holding position. So we go to CHA hold computed. Now based on charts, okay, let me let me bring the chart. So this is the chart. Uh, our entrance will be 105, and then you just enter and click on the on top one. Now this is the right or left turn. You can click on the button and see it changes this. And then the next one will be how wide to be the loop uh, where we're gonna hold. So to do that, uh, this is how you will have to enter manually. So it's uh, slash forward, let's say 4.8, and then you just click on that. And then obviously the temporary fly plane and insert fly plane, and this is how you set up for the holding point. Now, I'm not going to uh, enter this information, I'm just going to go back and leave it the way it is. Alright, so let me, let me go ahead and, and set an uh, altitude to 4000 and start descending. Once again, make sure uh, you don't catch speed. So now you can see clearly on the on the screen that uh, we are going to go to Char, uh, and then we're going to make a right turn, and we have the holding point uh, set up. I just uh, speed up the video a little bit so um, I just want to uh, show you that it does work and I'm gonna let let it do a, a loop now if you uh, obviously if you get a, a clearance to land before you get to to the holding position uh, you will exit uh, the loop and then uh, go and land all right so getting to CHA and then sure enough we are making a right turn instead of left and we are doing the loop so now we are going back to the holding point and then it will go in circle until we exit Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a clearance. DHL 123, cleared for ILS approach runway 25 left, report established. Okay, let's uh, read back and uh, let's exit. See what it says exit. You just click on that. The screen was uh, flickering a little bit. And then for some reason now we are going back to uh, the speed of 250. I don't know why we did slow down in the loop.
Now instead of going back to CHA on top, it went to the one on the bottom. As soon as uh, we reach CHA, we're going to make a left turn and the approach phase will activate. That means we are going back and do the approach and landing checklist again. Approach phase activated. Now the uh, approach phase uh, got activated, uh, I think, a little bit uh, earlier. I'm just going to leave it like that for a little bit. Now if you click on the radar icon, you can check the traffic around the airport. So we do have a few airplanes. Alright, so approach phase it is activated. Now turn on the ILS. Now altimeter uh, it is set. I'm gonna turn on the auto brake to low and run onboard approach checklist. checklist. Briefings confirmed. Ecam status check. Seat belts on. Barrow set. Three zero one five. Decision height two zero zero. Engine mode selector set normal as wear required. Auto brake set. Checklist completed. All right. So let's click on approach button on and wait to localize and to capture the glide scope. And we are going to call speed check in flaps one. All right, flaps one. Let's slow down a little bit. I'm still waiting on localizer and glyscope to capture us. We are close to top of descent, sir. Making the Speed check. Left flaps two. Let's do the flaps two. Something is not right, so we got localized. The glide scope is not there, so it didn't capture us. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn off the automatic pilot and uh, start descending manually uh, until I reach that uh, diamond on the right side. Make sure you don't overspeed here. So let's see if I uh, 
get to the same level where we're supposed to be maybe to be fly scope will capture us although the ILS is not uh, established I'm just gonna call it in anyway so in the meantime I, I did lower the, the gear that will help slowing down DHL the airplane one, two, a little bit more. Contact tower one two three point six two five. All right, we're gonna go ahead and contact tower two thousand five hundred. Okay, let's say we are getting close to uh, the diamond on the right side. Radio altimeter the alive. Scope did capture now, so we can go ahead and turn on the automatic pilot. Autopilot one, and cross check. So now it works. So th this is a, uh, a way to fix this, or you can Speed just check. go ahead Flaps and three. Uh, uh, land manually. All right, so we did flaps three. Autopilot two, right, cross Automatic check. pilot two on. Go around altitude set. Go around altitude set. Spoilers arm. Spoilers arm. Let's do brakes. Uh, brakes fan on and contact. DHL one two three. Continue approach. I uh, read back. DHL one two three. Clear to land runway two uh, five left. Uh, Line 230 to degrees zero knots. All right, let's read back and uh, we'll go ahead and run on board. Oh, not yet. Speed check. Flaps, Flaps full. full. And now we can Landing run checklist. on board Cabin checklist. Advised. Auto throttle mode. Speed. ECAM memo. No blue. Go around altitude. Set. Checklist completed. All right. All good. And once again, I am going to... 1,000. Disconnect the automatic pilot one and two. Just making sure everything is set. And uh, let me land once again. Again, I'm checking uh, the altitude lights. It's looking good, so let's land. So after 70 knots, uh, we'll apply the brakes uh, slowly. 70 knots. And then the auto brake light will turn off. DHL if you're not sure where to exit, you can use X light by clicking on the Lima. airplane contact icon. One, two, three, it point will four, show five, you zero. where to exit. Runway vacant. 
DHL-123, contact Frankfurt Ground, 123.450. Before we contact Ground, uh, we're gonna do Park the after-landing checklist here. So, parking brake on. Alright, we're gonna go and uh, turn off the landing lights. Nose light to taxi. Ground spoilers retract. Flaps three, flaps two, flaps, flaps one, retract. flaps zero. Transponder standby. Weather radar off. Up, APU master on, APU start on, and uh, check the brake temperature, and, uh, click on the wheels, check that everything it's green, uh, we set the uh, ILS button off on both sides. Let's set the uh, beacon to APU. And once the APU is available, we can run on board checklist. After landing checklist. Flaps retracted. Spoilers disarmed. APU start. Radar off. Strobe lights off. Checklist completed. All right. Let's go ahead and contact ground. DHL-123, taxi to Victor 92 via 07 Romeo slash 25 Lima, Romeo 12, Romeo, Romeo, Echo AST, Mike, Sierra, Echo AST. Gonna go ahead and uh, call for DHL follow me car. DHL-123, Frankfurt ground, I don't expect want follow me to car one minute. Lost. There is park brake off. Break off, off we go. It's all good. So let's start at parking checklist. Let's set a parking Park brake, brake on. on. APU bleed on. Okay, let's go 
back engine one and two master switch off and we're gonna go back up fuel pumps all off passenger signs off and then we can go ahead and call the stairway and open the doors I'm going to open the left front and back door and the cargo doors. Right, we are going to set all exterior lights off. Let the brake fan go off. Let's run the onboard checklist. Parking checklist. APU bleed on. Engines off. Seat belts off. External lights off. Fuel pumps off. Park brake and chocks on. Checklist completed. Right. So we're giving the aircraft checklist. I'm gonna go to the upper panel and adheres one two three selectors off adhere system selector off I'm go ahead and uh, turn off the packs APU bleed off emergency lights off no smoking off and let's uh, turn on off all cabin lights and it's on the co pilot all right radio panel off I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unlock the cabin door and let's open the cabin door alright now we're gonna go ahead and uh, close the rear doors and the cargo doors Oops. leave the front left door open Right. Right. Let's go to the upper panel and turn off the probe window. APU master off. Now, if you have the anti-ice uh, engine one and two and wings off, then battery one and two off. And we can go ahead and run onboard auto checklist. Securing the aircraft checklist. Adheres off. Oxygen off. APU bleed off. Emergency exit light off. No smoking off. APU and batteries off. Checklist completed. All right, so this completes the video. I hope you guys like it. Until next time, happy flying.